Good morning, everyone. Who might be waiting for our service here at St Mary's uh, broadcast online uh, for the time being due to the new restrictions. Thank you to Diana and Tracy and Lizzie for joining us this morning online, and I've got some musicians here in church to help as well. Morning to you three. How are you doing? Good, thank you. It's Good. fine, thank everybody. Morning. Now you should be able to see if people comment. You should be able to see that somewhere. so we can respond to anybody who comments. <laughs> there is a bit of a delay, only a few seconds um, between what we see here on StreamYard and what everybody else sees on Facebook or YouTube. But it has gone out to both. You're live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Ooh. <laughs> If it were technology, amazing. <laughs> if it were, I didn't so even you have to go out. You don't even have to leave the house. <laughs> I this did, seems strange. I that, yeah, I did think yeah. of the irony of um, morning, Linda. Uh, good to have oh. you with us. I did think of the irony of everybody locked down in Haverhill, um, and I have to travel in from Newmarket. <laughs> to be the only one in church <laughs> but there we go uh, i've written a comment where do you find the comments i don't know about on there but i've written one on facebook can you ah. see one? I, no. I, you've got two I, things I going at the same time through the guest entrance so i'm not quite sure what it looks like but there should be an option somewhere morning charlotte Oh, ah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I found it, but I can't comment. I've got a chat. Yeah, I've got chat. Comment. Yeah, but I, I can only. Linda, Charlotte. We can't do anything with it. I can only. I can only chat when I do private. You, yeah, there's an option to chat between the four of us. Craig is gone. Okay. Um, there's an option to chat between the four of us, but then there's an option to comment to everybody as well. Good to see you. <laughs> no, see, I'm able to. I and then I went. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't comment on uh, the public. I can okay. see them, but I can't comment. But I can private. I can private chat between the four of us, but five of us. But use my phone on Facebook. <laughs> oh, so you're not doing it through Streamyard? No, I just commented through that. She's got two okay. things going at the same time. Can't yeah. do that. <laughs> mul 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 it's only twenty past nine on a Sunday morning, Tracy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've managed to do it. I've already said, lost. Yeah, I've already clicked on it and I disappeared. This is the first time I've live streamed, so you know, be gentle. Oh yeah. I've avoided it so far. <laughs> if I, I'll keep one on my shoulders of one. I, I wonder what we look like. Ah, uh, look, I can see us on them. I know, Lizzie. Oh, it's very strange. <laughs> is that you that's just put that, or is that my Lizzie? I've just had a text to say she can oh. see all of us on the live stream. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not me. You're Lizzie. We're, we're still my live. Lizzie. All right. You are live. Chatting. She wasn't sure if it's because it was admin or not. No idea. No, no, no. We're meant to be. Good. <laughs> but we can come off now, please. Max. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Max. <laughs> no, I'm going to let you go only at 9.30 when the service starts. Oh. Um, oh, look, don't get Richard to join in. Everyone knows what a nerd I am now, though, because they can all see my Star Wars picture. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello, that's not Richard. That's Colin. That's Colin. <laughs> I can see Richard and Max. Yeah, Colin just put his hand across to light the candle, I think. Wow. And Wendy's here as well. So we've got, um, yeah, we've got a little bit of support here in church, and then we've got 
yourselves online, which is... Uh, I, I hope we're not the only ones that are up at this time of the morning. <laughs> no. No. Who's that? Is someone behind Matt? Floating? Hiding? There she is. Morning, Hi. Wendy. There she is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's cold outside, but it's warmer in here today. Yeah, but we've got this. <laughs> ah. With ah. In it, no doubt. Oh, grey. Oh, okay. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> Are you going to be watching? No, we're, we're, we're live now. We're, we're on. What are we doing? I beg your pardon. Sorry. So, um, yes, we've got musicians. You're live here, Wendy, but it's fine. <laughs> and then Tracy, Diana, and Lizzie are going to be reading the prayers right. online. Okay. Hybrid church. <laughs> this is this is very old. <laughs> there you go. Charlotte. Hello, Wendy and Richard. Um, so Charlotte Hello. is watching online and says hello to you through the comments. Sorry. I had to turn the heater off. It got too warm. <laughs> I've had to turn my boiler off because it's too noisy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's why I'm in here. I've I've um, I've had to get away from the, the rest of the family because I thought I can't do it at the dining table because that would just be Monty will pop up and go hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi everyone. Hi hey Phil. This is my youngest son. <laughs> yeah. well, this is a family my, show. My Charlotte and uh, Cynthia. Yeah, this is it. I worked, but <laughs> oh, there's seven people watching us. Well done, those seven people. Yeah, everybody else. Good on you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Not much to watch. I really wouldn't bother at the moment. <laughs> Thumbs up if you like the Star Wars posters. I like the Star Wars posters. Did you see the Star Wars dance on uh, Strictly last night? Oh, I didn't watch it. Yeah. I am. Um, by, by the first day, the first day of lockdown, by four o'clock, I was fed up. <laughs> by Friday at four o'clock, I, I subscribed to Disney Plus because there was absolutely nothing else to do. <laughs> at least you managed to do your live stream from church on Friday, didn't you? No, oh, that was recorded Wednesday you... at half past nine. Oh, okay. At night. At night. At night. Did you not notice it was dark outside? No, I didn't. Well, I didn't. <laughs> I got, I got a phone call at 20, 20 to 8 going, um, I have a slight problem. I was like, well, I'm not doing anything now. <laughs> at half past eight, do you fancy? Otherwise, it, was, it wouldn't have yeah, got it done. Was, it wouldn't have got done. Oh, so, well. It was, it was nice, though, I thought, Tracy. It was, it was, it was, it was, yeah. You know, it just felt right. I think so many things went wrong Wednesday morning. Oh, it was a horrible day, Wednesday. Jinx. Jinx. Yeah. Everything so, went wrong, went wrong. Yeah, the fact that we were able to have a second go at it, I feel actually it was meant to be wrong in the morning because maybe, it went maybe, so well. Yeah, maybe the morning was just the mood of everybody where everybody was just prepping for what was coming and it was like such a rush that it was coming, so you had to try and get everything done by, by Wednesday and it was just so rushy. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a bit Good. I said, morning to Sue or morning mum. That's that's my mum tuning in. <laughs> morning. <laughs> morning, Max's mum. Welcome. Eventually, we'll get her in St Mary's with us. Yeah. It's only twenty. Oh, it's not, it's not quite twenty-five past yet. Got a few couple of minutes, couple of minutes. Yeah. Well, do you want me to relieve you three and I'll um <laughs> Yes please? Sure. <laughs> Good. So yeah, just a few minutes before half past nine when the service will begin here in church under uh, new lockdown regulations. And we've got a few people here in church, including the musicians, and we've got people helping us out. Thank you. 
Morning, Anita. Morning, Karen. Lovely to have you with us as well. Morning, Nikki, as well. Lovely to see you. And hello, Linda, again. Morning, everyone who's joining us online. I think most of you are on Facebook rather than YouTube, but we are live on both. I think it's coming up half past. Yeah, we've got a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes. Morning, Gareth. Yes, um, not Zoom. This is StreamYard. So um, some of us are joining via StreamYard, which then gets relayed out to you on Facebook and YouTube. Um, so hopefully it will all go well and means we can have other people participating. And morning, Gregor, as well. Good to see you this morning. No. Yeah, but the idea of being here um, a little bit early is so as we can have that conversation, interaction, so that you know this is live and, and real and hopefully makes you feel part of what's going on here in church a little bit more so we can have yeah, a little bit of conversation before the service. We're just waiting for Jim. Just waiting for the trumpeter to return. Who's his trumpet? trumpet. <laughs> says I've got 13 people watching. Mm. Okay. I'm never sure whether that keeps up. There might be more than that. Mm. But uh, yeah. Yes. So the, the national anthem will be at the end. At the, end. Yeah. Um, the act of remembrance will be in the middle right, after, so after the, the first. Time, we'll start that. And then, so I'll I'll do a little introduction, and it's we will remember them. Yeah, and then I'll do the last. Last post, and then will you do the revive as well after two minutes? Okay. Thank you. If you'd rather not, then don't. It's, 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 it's one I don't normally play. I mean, I don't. It's very difficult. It's triple tangy. Okay. Then, just, just do the last one. I'm not opposed to it.
Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to St Mary's on this third Sunday before Advent, which is Remembrance Sunday, as we remember before God those who have fallen in conflict, particularly in the First and Second World Wars. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also. Let us prepare ourselves for worship by opening our hearts and minds, inviting the Spirit to be with us wherever we are. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus says, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and in faith. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through negligence, through weakness, and through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image within us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out of darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things, in your beloved Son, the King of all, govern the hearts and minds of those in authority and bring the families of the nations, divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin, to be subject to his just and gentle rule, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'm going to bring Tracy onto the screen now to read our first reading. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Wisdom is radiant and unfading, and she is easily discerned by those who love her, and is found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known to those who desire her. One who rises early to seek her will have no difficulty, for she will be found sitting at the gate. To fix one's thought on her is perfect understanding, and one who is vigilant on her account will soon be free from care, because she goes about seeking those worthy of her, and she graciously appears to them in their paths and meets them in every thought. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Tracy. And Lizzie will read our second reading for us. A reading from the first Thessalonians, chapter four, verses four. Sorry, chapter four, verses thirteen to eighteen. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters about those who have died, 
so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we, that we who are alive, we who are left until the coming of the Lord, will be by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with the cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Lizzie. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is as if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. Sorry, that's next week, so let's try again. Jesus spoke this parable to the disciples. The kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a shout, Look, here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No. There will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the other bridesmaids came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Once again, today's reading has some rather appropriate resonances as the bridesmaids who were unprepared sought to find their resources in the shops. If they'd been trying to do that this Sunday, they would have been disappointed. I don't know whether oil for lamps is considered an essential item, but they would certainly have been restricted in their visiting of the shops. Spiritually, that tells us to be prepared. This lockdown happened with short notice, and this Sunday, we find ourselves wrenched from the usual practices of coming and joining in church. So we must always be prepared. Be prepared to find ourselves spiritually disturbed, to find ourselves having to pray from home, to pray apart from others. Although we are thankful that we can gather online in some form. Today we remember those who have fallen in war, in conflict, those who were ready to make that sacrifice and commitment. War does not choose which time it comes to fall upon us. Those men and women 
communities, children, citizens, all those who were disrupted, affected by war, were unprepared for that. Many were sent to the front lines without being fully prepared for what might come their way. And so today, in light of that reading, we pray for their remembrance, for their souls, those who were taken perhaps out of their time. And we pray that peace might reign, that we might have a more stable and settled time in which to live, in which to praise, in which to worship. So let us keep a time of remembrance now. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping all those who have died for their country in conflict, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, those from here in Haverhill, named on our memorial in church and on the cenotaph at the cemetery and all those who have lived and died in the service of humanity. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Amen. Uh -huh.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Lord, remember your people who cry to you in their grief. Remember the fallen in battle and the innocents who have died. Remember your power to heal and to save. going to pass over to Diana now, who will lead us in our intercessions. Loving God, we recognise our responsibility to encourage and uphold one another and to live together in peace and love. We also recognise our needs and our human weaknesses and come to you now with our prayers and petitions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for our church leaders that they will be guided in their ministry by the influence of the Holy Spirit and that the church in the power of the Spirit may make the gospel understandable to people of every race, language and culture. May the peace of God unite and reconcile the peoples and nations of the earth, bringing an end to war, hatred and discrimination. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mighty God, we commend to you your gracious care and keeping all the men and women who serve in the armed forces at home and abroad. Defend all who face danger and put their lives at risk so that others might live in safety and give them the courage to face the perils of active service. Comfort all families whose loved ones are in danger. Surround them with your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray for medics and chaplains and all who support the suffering. Give them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience to minister to the sick and wounded and to all prisoners and captives. We especially pray for all who returned from the field of combat with injuries both physical and mental which have ruined their young lives and for the charities and organisations which support them in their lives. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Merciful God, we pray for those fallen in battle who gave their lives in the cause of freedom and in defence of peace and justice. We remember too all civilians who have died as a result of war and conflict. Surround all those who are bereaved with compassion and give them a patient faith in their suffering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Diana. To crown all things, there must be love. To bind all together and complete the whole, let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace, which you might want to do by commenting below. And Lizzie and Diana, shall I add you back in? You can say peace to everybody. Peace be with you, everybody. Good with you. As we prepare the altar for the Eucharist, will have sung for us a hymn, O God, our help in ages past.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy that we should always sing of your glory, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For you are the hope of the nations, the builder of the city that is to come. Your love made visible in Jesus Christ brings home the lost, restores the sinner, and gives dignity to the despised. In his face your light shines out, flooding lives with goodness and truth, gathering into one in your kingdom a divided and broken humanity. Therefore, with all who can give voice in your creation, we glorify your name for ever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, Renew us by your Spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Although we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Those who are unable to make a physical communion are invited by the church to make a spiritual communion using words which are displayed on the screen. Lord Jesus Christ, since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, 
I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I know this is a difficult time when we're cut off from the sacraments, the signs of God's grace, but know that God's love is with you wherever and however you worship, so that you are joined together with all the saints in heaven and on earth. Jesus is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, we are not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and we shall be healed. Let us pray. God of peace, whose Son Jesus Christ proclaimed the kingdom and restored the broken to wholeness of life, look with compassion on the anguish of the world, and by your healing power make whole both people and nations, through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us here online and thank you to those who've contributed here in church and by joining us live online. The guidance from the government continues to change and from the church continues to change and so we will keep you updated but live services as they have been all through uh, this period will continue here online as well. Now if you would like to stand wherever you are or Gather yourselves as we sing or have sung for us the national anthem, recognising the commitment to this country and to peace in this nation made by many. Be with you. And also with you. 
the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Diana. It's okay. Take care, and we'll see you all soon. <laughs>